you know what's funny? Uh, we were the other day looking for superstar on our wall. Yes, we were. Raj Nikanth. He's on there. Yep. Oh. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Oh, he's right here. <laughs> wow, there's a giant photo of him right there. Uh, welcome to our stupid reactions. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's Corbin. We're so dumb, we don't even know what's on our wall. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody Sports on Patreon. Follow us for your Twitter account. Subscribe and the like button. I'm <clears> so <throat> dumb that when I pee, I wipe my butt. Ooh, what's haunted 3D? What? Hey, if you uh, like scary movies, Devil Inside is really well done. Uh your mom was here yesterday. Today, we have a, uh, a new trailer. Uh, it has a 6% on Rotten Tomatoes. Those scores are all so stupid. I've seen, I've seen movies that have a 100% or 90% and they suck. And then this one has 6%, and it's actually a very well-thought-out, well-performed horror film. Anyway, what old, are we doing? Old man yells at Rotten it's Tomatoes. That's right. <laughs> Uh, today, a new Manoj Bajpayee uh, film, uh, a, a Z5 film. I'm glad we're doing this because I was avoiding his Instagram feed. <laughs> yeah, you've been posting about it a lot. It's uh, yeah. called, I don't even say that. Surf Ek Banda Kafi Hey. Yeah, I've seen or him post hi. a lot about this, obviously, on his uh, social medias. Uh, yeah. And I've, it's been one of those things where I trust him, so I've been going through and liking it, but just moving on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's our dost. Humble he brag. is. Humble brag. Um, but uh, you know, he's one of the greatest actors in Indian cinema history. One of the best actors acting around today. right now. Yep. Um, one of those actors actors want to act with. Yes. So here we go. I don't know anything about it. I It's a nice shot. Supreme Court कई बार ये judgment दे चुका है कि पीड़िता का बयान rape cases में एक मात्र पुख्ता सबूत है अगर वो court को ये convince करने में कामयाब हो जाती है कि जो वो बोल रही है सही बोल रही है। Who is that? Great trailer. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that looks good. It looks uh, very well acted. Uh, looks powerful. Looks like it's going to be one that's going to be like a hard watch because all those courtroom dramas of like important. It's, it's clear what is happening, but then obviously external forces or people because I, well, like I said, I don't know anything about this story. I don't, it just looks like a religious figure. So it's also going to try I, people probably. I think based on who had, that looked like, I don't know if that is the Maharishi. There's a couple of, there's two guys in particular. I'm wondering if this is about. Um, you guys can let us know, obviously, who, who it's is about. Is there a log line? 
Yeah, uh, yeah, it doesn't say anything. No. It may have, it may be in the cast breakdown. Uh no. It's a uh, uh Banda. Banda. Right? Let's see real quick. Uh directed by Apoor. Okay. Yeah. Um starring Manoj Bajpayee. Mm-hmm. Uh, the film brings back the team of Manoj from the, uh, the collaborators from Family Man. Oh, cool. Excellent. Um, it's a courtroom drama inspired by true events. The story of a five-year-long fight. He's the lawyer. Yeah. Who were wronged by a quote-unquote god man. Yeah. A religious figure or some god. Uh, oh, it's not. Yeah, it's the it's uh, Asaram Bapu. Okay. Um Again, Im- importance, not just because of the subject matter touching upon universal truths and right and wrong, yeah. but says it's a true story. So this is one of those where I hope the, I hope Deepak uh, Kangrani, who wrote it, and Arpuf Singh Karki, who directed it, did their homework and, and are telling this from a lens of what took place with accentuation on absolutes of right and wrong. Yeah. I can't imagine they didn't with I don't I don't know that Minaj would be involved in a film that wasn't rooted in that. Yeah. Right. It looked like it w- was uh, at all. Um, so but it it's looks, looks really, like a story that needs to be told. Yeah, it uh looks powerful. Um it looks kind of similar to um in terms of like the situation of like the whole Catholic Church thing with you know, molesting thousands. Of oh yeah, boys. there's. Oh, I'm looking it up. The documentary. Uh, and but people believe something it country. They they couldn't do it because they're part of the church or something. Yeah, like, right. Um, uh, and the fact that people don't want to believe the people that they look up to could do something evil, uh, and especially with a, a beloved r- religious figure, obviously. Yes. Yes. Um, which is obviously ridiculous. Um, is that it? No. What is that? It's on Netflix. Will you look it up? A documentary that is of a different person, but it's of this subject matter. Um, no. Oh, well. Yeah. Um, it looks really good, though. Obviously, it's our dost, uh, Manoj Bajpai, so yes. the acting is going to be top. Top notch. The uh, the guy who was playing the religious figure looked familiar, didn't he? He did very much so, and um, I really liked um, that one shot of um, him just barely moving the curtain over half of his face. There was a lot of shots in the trailer that were really really nice. Yeah, uh, it comes out in Z five, um, so it's not a theatrical release which I'm assuming we're going to see a lot more of with small, intimate films, which is good and bad and sad, you know, because mm-hmm. you know this wouldn't get supported in the theaters. Yeah. And then people will go to OTT and people are like, oh, it was really good. I should have went and go to see it. Yeah. Um, but that's just where the industry is right now, mm-hmm. unfortunately. Yeah. Um, because this looks like it's high-class artistry, right? Yes. Um, so... I'm looking forward to it. So it's am I. Manoj Bajpayee. He bats a thousand of a thousand. Uh, <laughs> uh, let us know what you thought about it. Uh, and uh, besides this, obviously, what should be our next Manoj Bajpayee film that we should get to? Please let us know down below. Josh!